Hello everyone, it's me, Adisha. So, uh, sorry about um, uh, <clears throat> me not actually having a camera, but today we're going to be going with a brand new topic. It's not actually any science, maths, English, or French topic, but we are actually going to be going with Blender. Now, you might actually be wondering, what is Blender? Oh, and if you wanted to know, yeah, I got a new PC. So, Blender, this is Blender, right over here. So, when you open it up, you'll see uh, this. So, you can open it up, and you can see this. This is Blender 4.0.2. And by the end of this course, you'd probably learn how to create the uh, backbone of something like this. As a Blender learner myself, I'll be uploading videos weekly about this topic, which is nice, actually. So today we're going to be starting with the basics of Blender. Now I'll only be teaching what's common to Windows and Mac. So yeah, let's get started. So here you can see this is Blender. So episode one, welcome to Blender has officially begun recording. So, welcome to Blender. This place is all about modeling and we get to create whatever we please in here, which is awesome. Anyways, what else do you need to know? Hmm. Say, how do you even move these things? Well, you can use the move technology which allows you to do this. Whatever you do, if you want to move with precision, don't do this. Because if, even if you think you're moving it up, you're moving it in a completely other direction. You do this, you're actually moving it downwards. So don't do use this actually. Try using the grab tool. Which makes it a bit more convenient, but if you want it to be precise, you can do something like this. But this is helpful for 2D animation, and here we're 3D animation. Actually, we're not going to be doing animation for most of this part. We're actually going to be doing modeling and stuff like that. And without further ado, we can start with our lesson. Now you can see here that this is the normal cursor, of course. This is normal, this is the normal cursor. We can select with it and we can play and pause our animation, of course. Now what's this? This here is the 3D cursor, which is the cursor that we actually use to, well, spawn in our blocks actually so if it's over here i'll teach you a small thing shift a if you know what this is gonna do comment down below shift a is add so you can add a mesh which is what we're using now we're using meshes because they're the simplest ones so we'll just construct a cube mesh and see look at that in the center is the 3D cursor, which is awesome. So now that you know what the normal cursor and 3D cursor do, we're going to get on to the rest. We can go to the rotate tool by using R. Use R for rotate. Things like that and stuff. You have to select, you'd have to select the item that you want to rotate and then you can rotate it using R. Then when you select an object and press G, you can grab it and move it around like this. Shift A means add, of course. Control Z is undo. And X is delete. Oh, wow. Oh. 
Well, X is deleting the max, so, well, that makes sense. Now, after that, what are we supposed to do now? Well, here's a small project that I know you can do, and I trust you with doing. This seems like actually a really good project for you. Try to make a castle. Now, if you don't know how to make a castle, follow instructions. So on Windows, delete is delete, of course. But on Mac, X is delete. So know that. Because X is delete, of course. So follow my instructions. Now, what I want you to do is press Shift A. Spawn in a, not a cube, spawn in a cone, shift A, and a cylinder, shift A, a cube, shift A, a plane, shift A, another plane. Now that we have all the tools that are needed, now we're going to have to use two very well known things. Control C, Control V. And look at that, that actually made a copy. Control C, Control V, G for grab. Then we can use, we don't need to use Control C, Control V for this, but if you want to make a full, Castle, I can show you a model later, which I have made myself. You can, if you want it to, okay? Now, this castle will not be including the banyans, because then after this, we'll be learning this, which is what the location, rotation, and scale do. Of course, this is all basic Blender. Now, to make sure that you know all this, we're going to have to go into the Y scale or minus Y scale. Uh, it, ma it doesn't really matter, actually. You can choose any one. Now, place your cube, your cylinder, and your other cylinder a suitable different distance away from each other. Something like this would be good. You can see that. Now, oh no, it's not actually tall enough. This is where location comes in. This is where... Oh, I've actually made a mistake. Do you think you could spot it? Say it out loud so I can hear you. What's that? I, I can't really hear you. Oh, right, I had to choose scale. Well, of course, scale is the fact of scaling, of course. It's like Play-Doh. If you want to scale a bunch of Play-Doh up two times, you double its size, of course. Now, you can see here that the Z-axis is up and down. So, we're going to have to go to Z-axis. Now, if you want this to be double the size, we can press 2, Enter. And here. It's going to be doubled from the center, so we will have to move it. Do this, or if you don't want to account for any doubling, move it here, and then press 2, which will account for all doubles immediately. Now take this. Place it on top, take this, and place it on top. And, oh god, our castle looks messed up. That is terrible. Well, we're going to have to fix it, of course. Now, these two we won't need now, so don't use them. Don't actually try them. Now, we made the mistake of setting Y as 2000 as well. So we'll set that back to 1000, of course, to make it look like that. Now we're going to have to go into the Z axis and align everything. Grab and align. Grab and align. Grab 
a line. It's like that. This is really simple. And there you have it. It's a simple castle. But if you want to make it look better, here's a small hack for you. Now what I want you to do, since x-axis is the one that goes from left to right, and not forwards or backwards, or up or down, let's choose the x-axis. We will have to use x-axis, of course. Let's use the x-axis and try this. 3.5. Now it's a bit too big, so we'll decrease it down to 2. And as you can see, we've made a huge castle. And it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Congrats if you've actually made this and gotten this far. I'm super proud of you. Now if you want to, you can make this even better by introducing a plain mesh at the front of the castle. Then decreasing its scale to make it look like a door or a drawbridge per se. Now you can go in here, which is the solid view. In here is the rendered view. You don't need to go in here unless you want to see the full project. I'll show you that later. So here, what I want you to do is figure out the axis on which we should decrease it. And say it out loud, very loud so I can hear you. Uh, did you say the x-axis? Oh, yeah, that should be correct. And you were indeed right. So let's shrink it to half its size. 0 0.5. And boom, there we have it. A simple, beautiful castle. And look at that. Wow. It's amazing. Now we can see here the blender render. Which is amazing actually. We can see the full render here. We can close this and check it out. This is the fully rendered castle that we built together. I love it. Now then, if you want, you can uh, go for a bit of a tromp, per se. You can go for a bit of a journey and you can create something like this. This is a castle that I actually made and it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Now, here's one thing to keep in mind. If you overlap two shapes, it will look as if it is one shape, not two shapes. Well, that's it for this class. So, thanks for listening in and pitching in to this class. And I hope you all had fun listening to this. And when you're ready, you can, well, make a ton of Blender stuff. So, have a nice day. See you all in the next one.